Um, didn't get into the Corn Fairy Tour event this week. I have my roommate, Nick Voke, that also has his Callaway stuff, so I can kind of go through what's in the bag with him as well. <laughs> Look at this freaking mess. All right, Vokey. Yes, sir. It's your turn. A 50 and a 46. Hey, shout out to uh, Anthony Toronto. Got that, uh, wow. that Cardinal and Gold, S Iowa State, special baby. Special treatment. I don't even get this. These are good. These are good. Probably about a week old. Really? You'll see, you'll see a bit of... A little, a, little, a little bit of coming back here this week, which would be cool. Nice. Um, Bro, take them out as you go. Why is that? Oh, uh, just because. So you can destroy your, lap, your iPad in the process. You're right. <laughs> Four wedges. Now, because I've got the four wedges and no three iron, I've only got six irons. It's quite a weird thing, but it works for me. Here are the Apex MB Straight Muscle Forged Creativity. Wow, ball striker. Wait, you didn't have this last time I saw you. Yeah, I did. No, you did? I've had these for about a year. No, you had the Apex, the other ones, <laughs> the cavities. Oh, uh, uh, about a year now, this is the setup had. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, they're, they're good stuff, and you see it's quite shiny, mate. Got some nice fresh grooves. These are also about a week old. Oh wow. Yeah, now all good, all good. Now with all my clubs, got the wedges through the two iron. Got a KBS C Taper Light 115X shafts on them. I've had them since college, back in the TaylorMade days. Back when I thought I was the next Matty Wolf. Old. <laughs> Even though he's younger than me. Old faithful. Old faithful. No, so these are these are pretty good. They're real light for a, a weak small guy like me. You've got a bit extra swing speed at the bottom. There you go. Um, but no, I absolutely love these irons. The middle of the face has never felt so good. You don't hit that very often. Don't hit it very often. <laughs> hey, fin to win, you know. All right, here's old trusty. Now it used to be a tailor-made UDI that Tiger plays, mm. but um, as you'll see in this clip that Quan's about to attach, round three Queens and PGA, first shot of the day, bang, ball goes that way, club oh. head goes this way. Oh no. Yeah, crazy. So we've upgraded. <laughs> it's my only non callaway club in the bag. It's a nice little piece, 7090. Just feels good and it looks good. Yeah. And I I'm working with Callaway to create something similar for me with the cutaway stuff, but it's old trusty. I can flight it down, I can I can tee it up. It goes same away. shaft, or what's the deal there? Yeah, same shaft. See to have a light 115X. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. Beautiful stuff. Beautimous. Maverick three wood. The really cool thing that they've done with these three woods is that now they've gone back to the non-adjustable look, which I really like. So if you have something that you like a design, it's got quite a sleek profile looking down in it, and I quite like it. Are you sure that's not just tour only? It could know. be. It could be. It, it could, could very be. well be. Yeah. Um, but it just it sits so flush to the ground. Yeah, it does look nice. Yeah. That's how my Maverick is too. Maverick three wood is. Yep, and so with this one, similar to you, I've got a 10 side. Oh wow, matching shaft, wow. But hey, mine's only 70 and yours is 80, which means that you're a big boy and I'm small. <laughs> okay. Beauty. Beauty. Wait, all right. Now, the big dog. Very similar driver, actually, to yours, Quan. Got a Sub-Zero 9.0. Fun fact, this is the first head I ever tried with Maverick, and I liked it so much, haven't even tried another head since. So they were telling me, by the way, I love the Callaway guys. I love every one of them. Oh, they're just top notch. They're great. Them. But they were telling me that the Maverick this year has a tighter shot dispersion than the Flash. What do you Correct. think? You think so? Yeah. So with the AI technology, when they developed this, 
it's as hot as the Epic Flash, because that was the good thing about the Epic Flash, when went with Miles A. But with this thing here, with how they've designed it off center hits, they all kind of come back on, the shot pattern kind of centralizes a bit more. Um, that's beyond my pay grade, it says Flash <laughs> Face SS2O. Sounds good to me. You're a great salesman. You didn't even tell me all that stuff. Right, but then in this, uh, similar sort of tone, got that tensile, but only a 60 gram shaft. I think I forgot that one. Um, but yeah, it sits on the uh, the lighter side of the spectrum. Um, but for me, in these small little pipes, I need a bit of juice to get it up top. You, you hit it further than me, mate, Nick. <laughs> All right, now the money making machine. Hey, shout out to Adam Bilby, Japan Tour. Is it really? It's a Japan model. I think I played an Asian tour event and he, he hooked me up there. sweet. Bilby. Now this has been a life-changing thing for me. Hey, uh, let me let me just tell you the backstory first, all right? I struggled last year on the Corn Ferry Tour, big time. I played 18 events, maybe made 10 cuts, like it was just all over the show. And one of those reasons was my putting. Strokes game putting was negative 0.6, which isn't very good. It's mm. not gonna be last on the PGA Tour, but it's not yeah. very good. Since changing this, I played, I think it was 26 events, after the corn ferry last year and it was positive 1.4 that's two shots around difference because i switched to something i'm more comfortable with per that's, that's round per two round. shots difference crazy per round. i'll show you those numbers if you want to have a look at it mate i tell you it's just it's just an absolute beauty mm, there we go it's got a big fat line it's, it's hard fat line it's hard, it's hard to not not line it up straight what you go for the grip i've got a super stroke um as you can see One of those counterweight things is that what it is yeah it's got a little 25 grand thing at the bottom yeah. and so the whole idea behind this is what they've done with the stroke Lab is that this is the the regular steel weighted stuff and this is more of that carbon fiber stuff so they've taken weight that's usually here and they've put it at the top so then in theory this here and this here work more harmoniously now they've asked tour pros to differentiate between this shaft and that shaft and they can't tell the difference between the regular one and a stroke lab one but on a robot the role it actually produced is significantly on slow-mo cameras statistically. Um, so we can't tell the difference all i know is that i was 1.6 strokes game putting for the end of last year so anyone in his right mind will be taking those sort of numbers that'll work so you can't tell the difference with the shaft not at all Really? Because I could kind of feel it. Oh. Maybe that's placebo. Well, I also have a way different shaft too, so True, maybe that's yeah. why. Now, so it's been good. And what's what's really cool is this uh, micro hinge insert here. I really like yeah. the, the firmer face before, whereas these in the past have been quite soft. So this is a firmer model, has been awesome. And the micro hinge stuff is also one of the best things in creating a good, generous roll. How do you know all this stuff, bro? Mate, I like it's my job. I'm I'm invested. You see, like if I don't know it, something's wrong. And someone better get yeah, a but slap. Yeah, but I just use what works. I don't really care about why it works. <laughs> well, hey, you just got to match personalities. You see, like I it's like true. to know why, That's when, true. how. That's whereas, true. Everyone's you know, a little different. Your your 68 is a 68 for me. It's a well, let's have a look at the strokes game. While well, driving was a 64, but putting was a 71. Let's go look at putting for the afternoon. I don't right? even know what you just said. <laughs> me okay. neither, but it sounds good to me. <laughs> Iowa State means golf hook up with the alignment stick. Too bad they only had one, so I got another yellow one next to it. Yeah. And what's do. quite funny actually is one's taller than the other. You know what you should do is just chop, chop them off. Chop yeah, them down. That's, that's what I've done. That's a good idea. But yeah. that goes over top this way. Oh, good cheek. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Um, nice sweet towel. No, my business. But the umbrella, That's same as, uh, same as uh, Quan. Now there's a bit of precipitation out there before, so you, you know you, you need the hoodie up top. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't have one of those. You're just. Uh... You're higher up on the totem pole now. Hey, we played Chicago two weeks ago, oh, mate, that's and, true. and I swear it was a duck's best friend out there. Like it was, <laughs> it was so cold, so wet, and so windy. That's true. I did see that. It was nuts. All right, I haven't even ventured in these pockets, so let's find out what's in there together. I love that. That's how I do it. All right. Same as Quan, it's my uh, my means of getting in here this week, showing that I'm a, I'm a what do you say, Rona friendly guy? R Rona tested. Rona tested. I've got about six of these masks. I don't know why this one's white, but it looks like it should be somewhere else. <laughs> uh, I got my, my Callaway gadgets. Like he's a good example of when you would actually change loft. 
Bogota. Get what happens air. is you really need to hoist the thing in the air. So if you usually have 3,000 spin in Bogota, that'll act as like 2,500 spin. So you want to launch it as high as you can with a bit more spin so it stays in the air. Honestly, and because it's up in the air longer, it'll go further. You know, we're talking it's significant, like 10% yes. further. So yes. usually if you're if you're over a drive and there's a bunker at 295, 300 carry, I'm like, oh, I've got to stand on this one, you know, yeah. kitchen sink. Yeah, yeah. But in Bogota, there's one 350. I'm like, I don't need to hit it hard. It just hit it high. It right. stays in the air for so much longer. Exactly. Pig on. That's why my three iron and four iron were going the same distance up there because it just wasn't getting up high enough to make a difference. Um, and then over the quarantine period, I practiced so hard that I needed to start taping up some of this. All my calluses and my blisters. I use that same one sometimes. That's it for the front. Good as Gandalf. Hey, hey, where do you uh, where do you put your keys and your wallet and <laughs> where do you put that in your pockets? Because that's where I put it. I put it in this. You one. put it in that one. Yeah. I put it in this one. The tea pocket. Down here. Well, a range finder's in there. Yeah. I got my, my New Zealand Cancer Society sunscreen. Oh, I reckon. I don't recognize that one. Shout out. I got my another Callaway thing. And I got another sharpie of sorts, and that's where my little keys and what on front goes. Because look, it's waterproof, mate. Look at that. It's waterproof. Yeah, but this one's uh, this one's felt or felt felt pocket, felt pocket, felt pocket. All right. So, shout out to Iowa State. Go Cyclones. Graduated 2017. Still living there. A couple of us are still there. There's, there's a reason for it. You watch Quan's other video about our place. There. Oh, what a gem. Top right corner. I'll put it right there. Um. I bet you no one has ever seen anything resembling something like that except for something you might smoke. <laughs> Watch yourself. This here is our New Zealand national emblem. It's called a silver fern. So if you look at any of the, the famous New Zealand sporting athletes or teams like the All Blacks, not a racist term, I know they're in 2020, but the All Blacks is the greatest sporting planet on the planet. They've got the highest winning percentage of any team. They wear it right there. Bit of mana. Bit of mana for you. All right, so this is, this is just the, the goodie bag. Yeah. But in it, Lives no goodies. It's just towels, sweatshirts, and wet weather gear. Really? That's it? Dude, that's like my favorite pocket right here. Towels, wet weather gear, and looks like a residue nut. <laughs> Some snacks. I'll dig into that later. So that's that. Wow. Big pocket's my favorite pocket. Um, some of the quan, I don't use the side ones all that much. Like, if it's a big week, you know, there'll be all sorts of sandwiches and, and gadgets and goodies in there, but, I mean... <laughs> yeah, the, big things. Yeah, Some rubbish. Trash. Exactly, mate. Got a sick-ass colorway towel. Dude, why do you get for, all this stuff that I don't first, The first one I like, it gets a free towel. Got plenty of, um, agua. Give me that, that's mine. And in the other bag... Oh, hey, don't you tease me with a good time. Bit of food, bit of food for ya. What is that? Oh, nuts. Nuts, banana, gloves, and more nuts. So as you can see, we haven't stocked up too much yet this week. Um, part of the reason, we, part of the reason for that is last week was my practice week in AIM. So when I go back home, I go back to the carry bag. It's just a lot easier to get around. And so, you know, stockpile all there, got all the tears, all the balls, all the gadgets. And then like on the uh, the tournament week, I come back to the big bag and I, I replenish this thing, but it just hasn't happened yet. All right, good mm -hmm. stuff. Favorite bit in the bag right here. Go Cyclops. Got my, uh, all my goodies in here, got my tees, got my, my alignment markers, got my little, everything mate. Oh, There's even a uh, bit of Lucas ointment here. It's it's the best uh, best for chap lips you'll ever see. Is that New Zealand or no? Uh, I think it might even be Australian. Oh. Yeah, it's got all, all the gadgets, all the goodies in here. Um, in this bag, I kind of got my gloves, ball markers, golf balls. Yeah, I mean, it's got all, all sorts of gadgets. Okay, we're going. Oh, I got nothing in here. Like, legit, there's nothing in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so why do you use this pocket where it's all claustrophobic with the strap and stuff instead of using the pocket where it's not in there? You, you look at this big, big kahuna in here. What else am I gonna put in here now? <laughs> Shout out to Whispering Pines. You don't have an Iowa State one? Uh, I didn't, I lost it. Um, oh, this needs to make it. Last time I used this was Sunday qualifying with the boys. Our home golf club, the Harvester. It's that good. You even get pin sheets for your normal stock standard play. Have a look what? at that. What? Standard 69 there, one by, one by two shots. This plane's the Harvester Club. 
it's an absolute dream. You got you got to get up there. It'll be it'll be top hundred. In the Ames country. is that considered Ames still or? Uh, it's called Rhodes. Uh, we're thirty five minutes from campus. But I mean, look, that if place the place looks has, sweet. If the place has its own pin sheets for regular play, it was a Sunday for goodness sake. I know. <laughs> it must be that good, right? Oh, this quality looks so bad. Whatever. Is that all of it? Um, I mean, I would have shut like just just wait for that thing to get ready, bro. We'll do it tomorrow as well. Uh, yeah, we didn't actually end up finishing that video, but, um, I mean, we were pretty much at the end there. The only thing that he kind of left out there was the golf ball, and I'll kind of, uh, put it up here somewhere. He's actually using the diamond ball. I'm using the star, he's using the diamond, and his ball is also not the triple track version. I'm not exactly familiar with what the, uh, diamond ball is like, but, um, from what I remember, I think it, it doesn't quite spin as much as my ball, and maybe it's a little bit firmer, but, um, but yeah, that's the ball he's using, and just like how my star triple track ball is not available in stores, his diamond ball is also not, unfortunately, uh, available in stores. I think it's only a, a tour-only version, but, also, I'm going to try something out here. Uh, for the first 30 people that use this discount code right here, you guys are going to get 15% off on either of my courses. And I think I'll try doing this for the next few videos. So if you guys try to use the code and it ends up being expired because too many people have used it, don't worry. I'm going to maybe try to keep doing this and see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it or not, but I'm going to try giving it a go and see how, see what happens. But first 30 people that use this discount code, you guys will get 15% off. Use it on either course I have, the swing program or the course management program and if you guys missed it just make sure you hit the subscribe button and you hit that notification bell and that will you'll know right when i upload and you'll be uh able to take advantage of those discount codes a lot, lot easier so as always guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video make sure you give it a thumbs up it really does help me out with the youtube algorithm if you're not subscribed already again make sure you hit that subscribe button and again make sure you hit that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I was told a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below.